Hey guys, Mitch here. Uh, so for this episode, we're going to be doing a head IK where the player moves their head in um, the real world and then we get the HMD position and then put that onto the character's um, animated skeleton. Um, it'll only work for sitting and standing experiences just because there's no real way to find the root of the player without any kind of mocap gear if they're walking around in the real world. Uh, so first of all, I'm just going to delete some things from this third-person template. This is just a blank third-person template that I just created a couple of minutes ago. Uh, I'm going to delete that character, delete that one. And I'm just going to go in and create a new folder we'll be working in today. Um, just and whatever you want. Mine just be a head IK, just for whatever. Um, so first thing I'm, I'm going to create is a little mirror. So what we need is a scene capture. So I'm just going to type in... Uh, yeah. And just grab a scene capture 2D from um, the modes, and we're gonna grab that and just position it in our world. And this will basically uh, be a camera into the world that then we can project onto a texture onto a quad. So after we put that wherever we want it, I'm just gonna grab this texture target, and then um, I'm just gonna create a new render asset, uh, render target rather. Uh, I just put it in the folder I created, and I'm just gonna call it head, uh, IK, render target, something, whatever name you want. And now this will be our texture we can use in a material. So all I need to do is right click, create material, or whatever, that'll be fine. And just because I want it to be kind of a mirror, I'm just going to flip our UVs. So I can just grab our UVs in this uh, material and grab a text chord. And then on the X or the U plane, I'm just going to negative one. So reverse it and apply and save that. Cool, and now what I'm going to do is go down to view options and uh, show our engine content so we can grab a, grab a plane. So if I grab a plane here and chuck that into our level and it doesn't really matter but I'm just going to chuck out a little bit behind our camera just because and now I'm just going to turn off engine content because I don't really need it again and grab our material one on there and just check it on this plane. And that's pretty cool. Uh, so now time for to create the character itself. So I'm just gonna right click and we're gonna create a new pawn um, head IK Yeah, whatever naming you want. Um, I'm just gonna go in there and quickly create a new scene component. And this will be the root of our camera. So I'm just going to hit camera root. Awesome. And a new camera. And that's just going to be our camera. And then a skeletal mesh. And I'm just going to leave that for now. And so now I'm, what we need is a um, animation blueprint to put all our IK and stuff in. So I'm just going to go under animation and then uh, add, add in blueprint. And we're just going to go a parent class of anime instance and using the default UE4 mannequin skeleton. Hit OK, name it whatever we want. Just head OK, anim blueprint. And I'm going to go back into our pawn and get our skeletal mesh and grab our skeleton. Save. Uh, and now add our blueprint class that we just created, our anim blueprint rather. So where are I? Head IK and blueprint. Cool. And now what we need to do is pipe the position of the player's head and the rotation of the player's head from this uh, pawn to the anim blueprint. So I'm just going to create two variables here. And it's going to be uh, HMD world location. And that's going to be of type vector and HMD world rotation and that's going to be of type rotator now to get these because I'm using 411 and this will only work in 411 I'm going to get the camera component and on tick I'm just going to set these two and there we go and there we go and it's going to be set to the camera's world position cool and this is going to be set to our world rotation, which is brilliant. That's what we need. Now to set up our atom blueprint, which is our last step. 
Um, so as you can see, it's not actually that hard to do this. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to grab our um, idle animation, and I'm just going to play that. And I'm just going to grab a two burn IK. So two burn IK. And basically what this takes is an effector location, which is the actual location of the um, end bone that we want to IK towards and our joint target location, which is basically um, a location that we want to our IK chain to rotate towards. Um, Epic has some pretty good documentation on this, so I'm just going to link it in the description and you can check it out if you want to learn more. Uh, so I'm just going to add this and convert from local to component space. Uh, grab and just create our new variables that we need. So we need a um, head world position. That's going to be a vector. And then I'm going to grab our head world rotation. And that's going to be a rotator. And this basically mirrors our um, other blueprint. So I'm grab this, chuck it in there. And what I'm going to do is now for the bone we want to IK, I want to grab our head. So I'm going to minimize these and grab our head and make sure we're doing this in world space. And then our joint target, I'm just going to keep it in location space and just put it say like 150 up in Z space. And now I chuck this in here. And then if I hit save and then compile, it's going to break. Um, so basically we just need to set our default our default value for this position. So I'm just going to set it to something like uh, 160, which will make sure it's up again, which is cool. And now I'm just going to set up in the animograph to get these values from our other blueprint. So I'm going to get this uh, try and get owner, and I'm going to cast it to the blueprint we set up. And on update animation, basically we're just going to grab the get uh, HMD world location and set it to our head position and get our uh, sorry yeah, there we are set our uh, head world rotation to our rotation cool and now a little uh, note on the rotation um, we'll notice if we go back into this our uh, camera and uh, player is not rotating, uh, not rotated in the same place. So if I just grab this camera root and bring it up a little bit, and I grab this guy, and you can always, if you there's a problem with the IK at the moment where it won't really take care of that default value, so it's always going to um, go downwards. But if we just go use animation asset, we can just get our position right of our camera. So if I grab this camera root, drag it down, and you notice that the character's um, forward vector is in Y space, where we want our player's forward vector to be X. So to do this, I'm going to have to rotate it uh, 90 degrees. And why this is important is just because when we grab our camera um, rotation, we're going to have to do a little, um, add a little constant rotation to it to make sure it's in the right space for our player. Um, so I'm just going to grab this and make sure we use our blueprint again, even though it's a bit weird. And go back into our anim IK. And then in the head world rotation, uh, first I'm just going to go into a skeleton and show, up and show you a little thing. So if we grab this head bone, and as you notice the um, update vector is actually X and the forward is Y and the right is um, Z, where we actually want this uh, default coordinate space. So um, what we need to do basically is rotate it around the Y so that X is facing um, right in this case and then negative 90 on the Z so that X is facing forward of our player's head. And so if we go back here and I go into our atom graph and I drag these out and I grab our world rotation and I chuck a combine rotators in and I'm going to make sure this is on the B slot and we want to 90 in the Y and negative 90 in the Z. And basically this will make sure that our world rotation is proper to our player's one. And now to rotate, rotate our head bone, it's as simple as adding a uh, transform, oh, sorry, transform modify bone. 
And I'm just going to hide these pins, the translation and the scale, because we don't want to do anything with them. Um, by default, the mode will be ignore, where we just want to do this um, as a replace existing. So this will replace all existing rotations on this bone. And I'm going to do that in world space. Was this in world space? Yeah, we made it in world space. Okay, cool. And now I'm just going to grab this, check our rotation in, and add up our chain here. And make sure our bone is set. So we want to do the head. So if I just minimize these, grab our head bone. And we should be pretty much to go. You'll notice when I compile these, head will be rotated a little bit. Um, that's just because of the constant we're adding here. It won't actually be the case in game. So if we go in and I check in this thing here, and it looks a bit weird, but it'll be fixed once we have our position. So um, I'm going to do, go down to pawn and make sure that auto possess player is set to player zero. Um, this is just so we actually will possess it. And so if I hit play and go VR preview and grab my rift, you'll notice that um, if I get rid of this health and safety, uh, tilting our head left, right works, uh, going back, forward, and everything seems to work pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's just a simple way of setting up uh, head IK in our player. As I mentioned, um, it, only, it only really worked for standing or sitting experiences, um, not really like room scale ones, but um, there's no real way to work around this unless you know the position of the player's um, root, basically, so you need some other reference point. But yeah, um, that's it for this one, so I guess I'll see you in the next one.